Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make bar soap, toilet soap, and medicated soap. I'm going to do a demonstration of how to make bar soap and also guide you on how to make toilet soap and medicated soap. Before we go into the production proper, let me take you through some very important safety precautions you need to take as you embark upon this production. Avoid direct contact of any chemicals with the skin by using hand gloves. Keep all chemicals out of reach of children and do not taste any chemical. The two major materials needed for making of bar soap, toilet soap and medicated soap are palm kernel oil and caustic soda. Other materials which are referred to as additives are soda ash, sodium sulfate, sodium silicate, borax, kaolin, fragrance, and color. Before I proceed, let's try to understand some basic concepts about bar soap making, toilet soap, and medicated soap. Just like I said earlier, bar soap, toilet soap, and medicated soap are made from just two very important materials, and these materials are palm kernel oil and caustic soda. Other materials are just additives to the soap. In other words, the produced soap can perform the same function of soap even without the additives. Now let's briefly go through some basic function of some of the additives. Soda ash. Soda ash is added to soap in order to increase the quantity of the soap. It acts as a filler. This is done in order to reduce the cost of production. Sodium silicate. It gives the soap a glassy appearance. Of course, it might interest you to know that glass is made with silicate. Sodium silicate also makes the soap very hard. Sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate gives the soap more quantity. Just like soda ash, they are called fillers. Borax. Borax improves the foaming ability of the soap. It acts as a stabilizer. The soap continues to foam even if it gets smaller and smaller. Fragrance. Fragrance add aroma to the soap. Kaolin. Kaolin give the soap more quantities. They are called fillers. This is used to reduce the cost of production. The next thing I'm going to talk about now is what is called specific gravity of the soda solution. This is because the specific gravity of the soda solution used for soap determines the toxicity of the soap on the human skin in case of toilet soap and medicated soap. The specific gravity of the soda solution also helps to determine the hardness or softness of the soap. By any standard, bar soap are expected to be harder than toilet soap and medicated soap and will require a specific gravity of 1 to 7 5 of the soda solution, while toilet soap and medicated soap will require a specific gravity of 1 to 5 0 of the soda solution because they are generally soft and that is the ideal specific gravity for the human skin. Now for the purpose of emphasis, specific gravity can be defined in this case as the ratio of density of caustic soda to density of water. Here water is our reference substance. Specific gravity is measured with an instrument called hydrometer. For details of how to measure the specific gravity of a substance in reference to water, I have dropped a link below this video. Click on that link for more details on that. Now let's talk more on toilet soap and medicated soap. In the introductory explanations I have made above, I say that toilet soap and medicated soap require specific gravity of 1, 2, 5, 0 of the caustic soda solution. One more thing you need to know about toilet soap and medicated soap is that you can use a particular oil such as castor oil, coconut oil, sesame seed oil, or even a mixture of oils. The type of toilet soap or medicated soap you produce largely depend on the type of oil you used. But in the case of bar soap, the ideal oil to use is the palm kernel oil. Let's at this juncture establish the quantity of materials needed to be able to start a production. Palm kernel oil, also known as PKO, 2 liters. Caustic soda, 500 gram. Soda ash, 500 gram. Sodium sulfate, 250 gram. Sodium silicate, 40 ml. Borax, 50 gram. 
kaolin 250 gram fragrance 40 ml and color 20 gram now let me introduce you to the chemicals and equipment we will be using in this particular production so these are the chemicals and equipment we will be using for this particular production this is our palm kernel oil also called the PKO the palm kernel oil and this is our sodium silicate sodium silicate this is our perfume the perfume we're using to add fragrance to the soap and this is sodium sulfate sodium sulfate now this is kaolin here we will not be using borax in place of borax we'll be using kaolin this is our soda ash soda ash this is caustic soda the sodium hydroxide crystals caustic soda now these are our measuring cups the cups we're going to be using to measure the oil and the soda ash and also the caustic soda solutions and also spoons that we're going to use to measure some of the salt now these are the bowl we're going to use to prepare our various reagents the soda ash solution and the caustic soda solution now this is our improvised mold this is what we're going to use to get the shape of the soap we want to produce and this is our mixing bowl and a wooden stirrer it's always advisable for you to use a wooden stirrer now we have some beaker set that we're going to use to measure volume of water and also the flask this is our color and this is our measuring scale alright now we're going to measure about 165 gram of our caustic soda 165 gram of the caustic soda Now we are measuring 55 gram of the soda ash. 55 gram of the soda ash. Now we are measuring 600 ml of water. Now we're going to add the 165 gram of caustic soda into 600 ml of water. We are dissolving 165 gram of the caustic soda 
in 600 ml of water. At this point you can use your nose mask because the caustic soda has a choking odor. We are, we are adjusting the specific gravity of this caustic soda to 1.275. 1.275. This is very important. This, the specific gravity of this soda solution is 1.275 and this is the ideal specific gravity for bath soap. Okay, make sure you adjust yours to 1.275. Now we're going to measure 215 ml of water and dissolve the soda ash. We're going to measure 215 ml of water and dissolve the soda ash in it. We're now dissolving the soda ash. Soda ash is a bit mild. Stay it properly until all the particles are dissolved. Soda ash might take time for the particles to dissolve, but make sure they are properly dissolved before you start using. Now, just like the caustic soda solution, we are also keeping the specific gravity of soda ash solution at 1.275. 1.275. Just the way we kept the caustic soda solution the, the specific gravity is at 1.275 all right our reagents are ready now we're going to measure a small quantity of the pko that's the palm kernel oil and dissolve our color just take a small quantity out of it to first dissolve the color if you take a whole lot of pko it will not dissolve the color it will rather form lumps but what you do is you take a small quantity out of the one you measured first dissolve the color and then stir it properly to make sure that all the particles of the color dissolve before you can add more volume of oil You can take the color, take the quantity you want, that you feel it's okay for you. Stir it properly and ensure that all the particles of the color are dissolved before you can add more volume of oil to it. Obviously with this color, the palm kernel oil almost looks like palm oil and has the same aroma as palm oil. All right, our color is fully dissolved now, so we are going to measure six cups of palm kernel oil. Right now, we've measured one with which we dissolve the color. We're going to add five more of the palm kernel oil in this measurement we're using here. This is the second one. This 
is it third one a fourth one and this is the fifth one this is the sixth one so we've taken six cups of palm kernel oil please note the measurement here six cups of palm kernel oil now mix your color properly All right, now that we've had six cups of palm kernel oil, we're going to measure three cups of soda solution. Three cups. The ratio of palm kernel oil to soda solution is two to one. Two to one. That is two parts of palm kernel oil will take one part of soda solution. This is very important. Please take note of this. So we're measuring three cups of soda solution we are measuring three cups of soda solution all right now we're going to start the mixing we are pouring the soda solution to the palm kernel oil we are pouring the soda solution to the palm kernel oil as you are pouring it please stir it constantly keep stirring as you are pouring just keep stirring. Keep stirring it as you are pouring. The reaction is taking place now. The soap is being formed gradually. Keep stirring. As you can see, this is how it looks like. Keep stirring it gradually. It will be solidifying. Any moment from now, we will add additives to it. Now, this is another important part. Since we added three cup of soda solution, now we're going to add one and a half cup of soda ash solution. One and a half cup of soda ash solution. Okay? Just like I said in the introductory part, soda ash is a filler. It gives the soap more quantity. In other words, it increases the volume of the soap.
Now we're going to add some quantity of kaolin to it. Based on the quantity we have in the bowl, just a tablespoonful will be okay. We've just added kaolin to it and we are stirring it now. Now we're going to add sodium sulfate to it. So also, a tablespoonful is enough. Now we're adding sodium silicate to it. Now we're adding perfume to it. As you can see, the soap is gradually solidifying while in the bowl. Now we're going to pour it into the mold. This is our improvised mold. In about one or two hours, the soap will solidify. So that is what it takes for you to produce your bath soap. The same principle is applied to toilet soap or medicated soap. Now this is your final soap and this is how it looks like. In about one or two hours, it's going to solidify. This is how it looks like after it has solidified and we have cut it into whatever shape we want. You can see this is your bar soap and it's ready for use. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.